Welcome to the Fantasy Football Profit Podcast, hosted by Craig Phillips and Jeff Torrey. Visit us at FantasyFootballProfit.com. And now your hosts, Craig and Jeff. Welcome everyone to the Fantasy Football Profit Podcast. I'm Craig Phillips, joined as always by Jeff Torrey. And today, we're going to do a mock draft here. It's still, it's a interesting time to do a mock draft because there's still free agency, there's still NFL draft. But hey, we had a couple couple listeners ask when we're going to do one. So, hey, let's let's just see again what it, what we're thinking about. It's really, I mean, the rookies will come into play later. There'll be some in the draft here in this one, but I'm not too concerned about them. Um, yeah, free agents will change spots, but it gives us a decent idea, I think, of where we're thinking for next year and how, you know, the ranks have changed and gives me a, how much that running back depth. I'm, that's always I'm, what I'm interested in. How much is it really going to play into maybe change up our strategy a little bit. Cause it used to be, you know, you wanted to get running back, running back right away to make sure you didn't miss out, but I don't, you don't, you might not necessarily have to do it anymore. So we'll see, Jeff, you have pick number five. So yeah, like never really draft in the middle of a draft. So that's an, that's an interesting spot. And then I'm number eight. So I guess we'll see who, I think you'll still get a good running back. That's the thing. Five's pretty yeah, good now. And yeah, that's what I was saying. I, I used to hate drafting in the middle. Uh, I thought there was no benefit. You're not getting one of the top guys. You're not able to kind of double up at the back end. But I think it might be a little different this year. So I'm kind of excited to find out if those middle picks actually can reap a little bit of reward this time around. Well, here we go. Draft's going. So it went Gurley, Zeke, Saquon, Christian McCaffrey. So you end up at number five, so you could probably end up with Kamara. If that's what yes, you want it to go is. with. But, yep, figured that much. And then Antonio Brown with the number one receiver, which isn't really happening most of the time. It's hard to because you don't know where he's going, but right, still it's, it's Antonio, Antonio Brown. So then Hopkins went. So I'm sitting here at the eighth pick. I get this to pick. is actually a very interesting um, pick. Are you going to go wide receiver, which is where we're at right now, or are you going to dip down and get Le'Veon, making the assumption? I would probably what. Bell is the, I think, you mean, you'd be tempted to pick maybe Melvin Gordon, but I think to get Le'Veon Bell here at number eight, you're just, I, I yeah. take the chance right now. During this, right, you know, later on, we'll know exactly where he's at. But if you can get Bell at number eight, I think that's a great pick. I I think all day I'll take him there. So after I picked Bell, it went Devontae Adams, uh, Melvin Gordon, Michael Thomas, Mike Evans. So then I'm back on the clock, and this is where I have the decision to make because there's still a lot of running backs I like. But it, I could just load up on running backs. That'd be pretty cool too. Yeah, this but, is a, a tough one, right? Oh. Because, I mean, I know you're picking right now, but Julio's right there. Odell Beckham is right there. But you also got James Conner kind of staring at you in the face, David Johnson, um, or drop down a little bit and get T.Y. Hill and Tyreek Hill, someone like that. It, there's a lot of guys to love right here. Not, and you, you took who I would I'm going to go Odell. You took Odell. Yep. It was, I think, I think I'd go receiver there. I think there's enough good running backs where I still get myself one of the top receivers. So I get a Le'Veon Bell, Odell Beckham. I like it. So after I picked Julio went, then James Conner. So you're back up and you have the same kind of dilemma. Yeah. And uh, oof. It's, it's a little bit of a less of a dilemma. There is, well, uh, the David Johnson really does throw a wrench in it. He's he's an interesting one there. No, uh, just for the sake of that, or I go Tyreek. That's a tough one. I'm gonna go David Johnson because uh, I don't know who's coming back around to me. I could have gotten Leonard Fournette too, but I think Joe Mixon would come around to you. That's true. But uh, so after you pick Johnson, Nick Chubb went, Keenan Allen, T.Y. Hilton, Tyreek Hill, Juju Smith-Schuster, Leonard Fournette, A.J. Green, Brandon Cooks. It's back to me. So wide receivers went off the board there. And, you know, maybe, yeah, actually, no, I up. think I, I'll be honest, I, I played that wrong, I think, with the David. You yeah, think you should have gone the so. receiver? Think, then you could have got Mixon, Yeah, probably. there's a lot of guys, like Delvin Cook is down here. Or Cut Delvin Cook. Because yeah, now, now you don't want to pass up Mixon and Cook, do No, you? I kind of want them. But at the same time, I have to pass them up. And um, when I'm staring at it, I'm kind of in a lull as far as a wide receiver goes. And Adam Thielen, I'm going to take him, but I'll be honest, like, He's a great player, but you, to be my number one, he kind of freaks me out after his lull in the second half of the season. I already am yep. doubting myself. I, I think I, I F that up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick Joe Mixon. Yep. Yeah, see, so, that's just, it's just better. 
And so I picked Joe Mixon, and then it went – well, before after you picked Thielen, it went James White, Philip Lindsay, then I picked Joe Mixon, then Pat Mahomes went off the board, Tariq Cohen, Travis Kelsey, Zach Ertz. I'm back up again. So I got my two running backs. I got one receiver. I could go – I could get a flex spot. And you know what? I'm going to. I'm going to get Delvin. Damn, man. I, yeah, I messed this up so bad. Uh, but they're, they're so – there's a lot of good running backs or a lot of running backs that I very much like still. Um, and yep. that's, uh, that's where I'm really kicking myself because I don't like a ton of these wide receivers, at least for this position coming back around. I wouldn't mind it as much. No, I'm going to go running back. I'm going to get three. Well, is that why it feels like wide receiver in the second might be the way to go this yeah, year? Yeah, I think, I think it is just so I don't have to worry about it. I get my number one and, the running back situation is actually very interesting the way they have him ranked right now. I'm actually going to drop down and get Sony Michelle. Um, but yeah. right now they have like Darius guys and Aaron Jones, Derek Henry ranked above him. Uh, Devonte Freeman is a very interesting. I one. like, I like Aaron Jones above him, but I don't oh, really, like you still like Aaron Jones better than Sony. Huh? I do. There's some yeah, question. I, I like Sony Michelle better, but, but uh, you know, I've always been a fan of Aaron Jones. I just need to see it. So, after you picked Sony Michelle there and went Robert Woods in the fourth, that feels too early. Um, maybe it's not, but I just I can't I never buy into Robert Woods. Russell Wilson went George Kittle, Devontae Freeman, Aaron Jones, Aaron Rodgers, Derrick Henry, Deshaun Watson. You're back up again. You got you got your running backs pretty much taken yeah, care you're gonna, of. At all this right, point. everyone's you're like, don't yeah. take Holiday. <laughs> I was gonna say everyone's gonna hate me for this one. I'm actually well, I got my pick. I got my pick lined up. Uh, you're going. Yep, perfect. Okay, so you picked Galladay, then it went Geis, then it went Marlon Mack. So my number two receiver. Yeah, okay, is Amari be Amari I was Cooper. actually hoping that if I went Galladay, you would skip wide receiver and I could get Amari Cooper on the way back. I was completely playing the man. It was, it was Cooper. Honestly, <laughs> yeah, it was Galladay yeah, or Cooper too. for me. It was one of those two. And so uh, and I then picked they Cooper. Took then Will Damn. Fuller went, Phillip Rivers, Cooper Cup, carry on Johnson. So I'm back up. I like my team. Bell, Mixon, and Cook at running back. Odell Beckham and Amari Cooper at wide receiver. Feels pretty good right there. And, you know, there's some good. Um, you know what? This is where I'm going to switch up what I'm doing here, I think. Hmm. Let me think about this. Yep. I'm starting to think I might switch up my strategy a little bit this year. I'm going to Andrew Luck. All right. I'm getting myself a quarterback because. I don't want Kirk Cousins. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go Andrew Luck. And then after I picked Luck, it went Rob Gronkowski, Dak Prescott. You're back up again. And I'll be honest, it is wide open right now. I'm, I'm staring at the board and I'm not seeing anyone that I'm absolutely in love with. At that point, you really have to make a gut decision. And I'm just going, I'm going crazy right now. I'm actually... I'm going to go Mike Williams. I'm grabbing a guy that I like that, yeah, he, and he's probably a little bit of a reach here. But I, I don't really love any of the wide receivers. The only one that I'm passing on that I probably shouldn't maybe is Doug Baldwin, but I don't have a whole lot of faith in him. And I was going to say Tyler Lockett might make no, it back either. around to me, and it, he didn't. He got picked two no, before me, so I almost so got what I wanted. E yeah, because Ebron went, then Mark Ingram, Doug Baldwin, Jarvis Landry, Carson Wentz, Jarek McKinnon, Tyler Lockett, Spencer Ware. And then, so Spencer Ware is getting drafted ahead of Damian Williams. Which is actually who I'm picking here. Yeah. Damian so, Williams, okay. If he okay, if he is the running back there, or at least in a split with Ware, I think getting him in the seventh is going to be yeah, great. Yeah, I think, he's, really I think he's the better the better running back between him and where. So I think eventually, even if they split in the beginning, I think eventually Damon Williams will win out the, at least get the lion's share of it. So then after you pick Damon Williams with Corey Davis, Lamar Miller, I'm going to be up on the clock. You know what? I'm going to get OJ Howard. I'm going tight end early. I like it. I'm going to go OJ Howard. Then Chris Carson went Kenyon Drake, Tyler Boyd, Tevin Coleman. So I'm sitting here with three running backs, two receivers, quarterback a tight end so i can just go wherever i want at this point so i need i'm gonna look for a third receiver and you know okay i think i'm gonna go julian edelman oh julian all right 
I think he had, a, I mean, obviously he's Super Bowl MVP, but he had a pretty good season for missing four games. So I think as a third receiver, he's kind of like a safe guy in case Mari Cooper doesn't pan out and becomes a Mari Cooper of the right. Raiders. And so Edelman should be able to step up there because I didn't want to, like another guy I could have got was maybe Alshon or something like that, but I don't trust I know, Alshon. I'm Jeffrey staring at him right now. I'm trying to figure out who I want, and it becomes increasingly difficult. And the fact is I don't, I really don't want any of these guys. So once again, I'm, I'm taking a chance on all these guys. So I'm picking the guys I like that have upside. As fun as offseason anyway. So I'm going to go Hunter Henry. You know how much I, I loved yeah. him before he got hurt. So I'm going to grab him because I really like him as a tight end. And uh, I think there was no one I loved, so might as well go and get that position now. A lot of tight ends went then. Right before you, Burton went. But then after that, well, Alshon went. But then Evan Ingram, uh, David Njoku went as well. So then there's also TJ Yeldon. Why? I don't understand. And that one uh, doesn't right. really make a lot of sense to me. And here... But Deion uh, Lewis, Duke Johnson, Naheem Hines, and you're up. This is where it ends up being where there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, potential wide receiver talent here. It's actually like the Calvin Ridley, DJ yeah, Moore, kind those of kind of only guys. Only potential. I got to pick, and I got to pick someone quick. I know. So you know what? I'm I'm not in love with it, but at the same time, I'm I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna go DJ Moore. Um, I don't know. There there was no one up here that I I absolutely loved, and it's all potential. Um, well, and this is the spot where. I'd probably end up looking like a rookie running back. I'm probably not going to do it right now just because I don't know where they are, don't know anything about them, how, how it's going to work out. But there's a rookie running back could end up being here right. at this point where, where you'd be interested in them. But I'm going to hold off on that. I'm going to probably go with um, I'm going to go with Calvin Ridley as my fourth receiver. Some potential there. Yeah, yeah. There, there's a lot to like then, in him. After I picked Ridley, it went Emmanuel Sanders, Isaiah Crowell, Marvin Jones, LaShawn McCoy, way down there. Then I have to make another decision. I guess Sammy Watkins there I could draft. Yeah, oh, you know what? I, I gave him another shot, but uh, he missed some games for me. He was he's always rough to have on the team. He really is. His yeah, don't really want to. No, just <laughs> stay away from him. Right, completely. Oh man, this is a tough spot because there's there's players that'll be available here that like the rookies, like I'm saying, like we'll get better ideas on some situations that we don't know who's really going to be the main guy yet. So I am going to take another flyer here. I actually I still think Marquise Goodwin has some potential there with if Jimmy Garoppolo is actually the quarterback all year, not hurt. Goodwin, we didn't really get to see what he could have done last year, so I, I'll take him a chance as my fifth because I don't. I don't like the guy who went after Goodwin, Sean Jackson. Oh my God, no! I, I didn't like him last year. I, I like him less this year. And then you're back up. It's again. It's just kind of picking some guys that you. This this these rounds will be easier when it's closer to the season because I mean you could pick up one of these rookies. You could pick up. I mean, who knows? Maybe JJ has a, a starting job somewhere. Maybe we know who the Baltimore running back is. Yeah, no, um, yeah, I'm going to take another another shot. So I'm going to go Cortland Sutton. Now that Demarius is out of there, Flacco is in. He has, uh, you know, maybe he's he's a little bit better than the quarterback they had last year. Uh, you know, I, I think he has a ton of upside. I really liked what I saw of him coming out of the draft, and now that he's moved up the uh, the roster, I think he definitely has uh, kind of a bright future. And then you're back up again after Sammy Watkins, Ooh, Adam Humphreys, now, Cam Newton, Jalen Richard, Drew Brees. And just for funsies, since <laughs> that is what my entire roster has been. Um, <laughs> a bunch of quarterbacks is gone. I waited. So I'm actually going to take Baker Mayfield, and then, yeah, knowing like that, that you love yeah. him. But it's kind of just a fun guy to take. There is also, you know, there's a bunch of guys left. I probably could have waited another one. But I, the way this is shaking out, I might as well go for upside the entire way. Yep. I wouldn't pick Gus Edwards just because as of right now, <laughs> right. <laughs> he, he's listed as the starter there. Like they said, you know, they just came out and said he's officially, the, I mean, he's as of today, he's their starter, but that's, um, you know, that's just <laughs> picking a guy who's going to get some carries. It, who really knows, right? I'm kind of just avoiding the rookies at this point. 
I don't. I'm let's see who else I can get here. Hmm. Is there anybody? See, there's nobody else I want anymore. You know, I don't usually take a backup quarterback. But <laughs> you know take what? it this time. I'm gonna do it. Just because I'm gonna take Tom Brady. Uh, you know what? Because I can make I can have Tom Brady as yeah. my backup quarterback. So Tom Brady went. Devin Funches, Rex Burkhead. You're on the clock. And I'm gonna go one more upside guy. I'm gonna go my main man Pettis. So after having a rough start with the uh, wide receivers, um, Adam Thielen and Kenny Galladay as my two guys I'm going to start no matter what. Then I followed up with Mike Williams, DJ Moore, Cortland Sutton, Dante Pettis. So I feel like I have to be able to start a, a you know, some portion of them. And I think if one hits, then I'm, I'm good. Yeah, I like Pettis. I think he, I think he could be pretty solid. John Brown, Jay Ajayi went, Larry Fitzgerald, Quincy Anunua, Jordan, Jordy Nelson. Demarius Thomas, Nelson Aguilar, Matt Ryan, Jeff Sup. This is the last round before me, or you could go defense here or something, or kicker. You got three rounds left. Yeah, well, since I don't like anyone, I'm just gonna take. I'll take a Chicago Ooh. defense, just a whatever, because I really like Mac. But right. So then Cousins went. Delaney Walker. I'm up on the clock. I'm gonna pick actually Latavius Murray because I have Dalvin Cook. Ah, so. that's good. Cook goes out. Murray will be pretty solid. So then David Montgomery, the rookie, went there. Zay Jones, Dallas defense, Chargers defense. I'll be up, you know, and I'll pick, I'll pick Jacksonville defense. Maybe they'll be become Jacksonville again, like they were two years ago. Pretty good. Justin Tucker, Houston D. We've got defenses and kickers, so you can go either a kicker or you can pick a position player yet. Yeah, um, I'll wait until the last round to take my last position. I'm going to go ahead and take uh, – I'll take – Kami Fairbarn from the Houston Texans as the kicker. And your final round, you could pick uh, Chris Hogan's available. <laughs> right. But actually, Golden Tate's available. Geeky Cutie's yeah, I mean, available. It's one of those things where the last pick you have is all of a sudden everyone looks pretty good. Like, oh, it's all upside, which it really yep. is. And. If you scroll down just a little bit, you can see Kevin White's Ugh, name. Woof. <laughs> the uh, you know the other question is, do I take a shot at a you know like a Rashad Penny? Yeah. Is the other guy I'm kind of looking at? You know what? Um, I will. I'm gonna go Rashad Penny. We'll find out what happens with that. He's the uh, <laughs> the last guy in anyway. And I'll end it with my kicker, Stephen Goskowski. All right, there we go. Draft is over. So, might as well run them down. What do you think here? You got, let's see here. Your starting quarterbacks, what, Baker Mayfield with Alvin Kamara, David Johnson. That's a pretty, Alvin Kamara and David Johnson is a pretty good little duo there. Then Sony Michelle would probably be your flex with Adam Thielen, Kenny Galladay at receivers, maybe Mike Williams if you're starting three. Not too bad. DJ Moore, Cortland Sutton, you have all the potential there. Dante yeah, Pettis. It, it, it turned out fine. Like, uh, if I looked at this team, I'd be like, oh, yeah, I like it. I can definitely – this is a, a winning team because I can definitely make some moves on top of everything. And I got my – you know, if, especially if David Johnson returns to form, I'm going to be money. But yep. I also look at it yep. and I'm like, you know what? I could trade David Johnson out for a wide receiver, say Tyreek Hill, who's kind of a you know boom-bust guy, or Keenan Allen. And then come back and get, um, you know, Delvin Cook, say. And then I can, you know, it just pairs better with everyone. I think that would have been the – I think I would have had a, a stronger team if I would have went wide receiver in the second round. But I still like my team. How, how, how do you like yours? Yeah. Well, I like my team, but it's also – it's there's some risk there. Because my running backs, I got Le'Veon Bell. We don't know. Even if we do know he's on a team, what kind of shape's the guy going to be in? Missed the entire year of football, so. And then Joe Mixon, who I, Joe Mixon should be pretty solid, but then again, he hasn't completely broken out to be, you know, one of the best yet. He's looked pretty good. We think he can be better, but it's not quite happened yet. And then Delvin Cook, same kind of thing. He's been really good at times, but he's been hurt, and you know, not always used exactly. So. 
I like my running backs a lot, but there's there's they're not a hundred percent sure things. Tr- you do right? actually. I thought I had the I upside crew, but actually you might more so because you look at yeah. like you said, Le'Veon well, Bell, Joe Mixon, and Devin Cook, but you also have Odell yeah. Beckham. Odell, who's Amari been hurt Cooper, the last couple years, really. You know, all over yep. the reservation. He can OJ go either Howard's way. coming back from an injury. Julian Edelman, yep. we never know during yep. the season what kind of numbers he'll put. He should be he should be safe. Exactly. But, you know, Calvin Ridley and then Mark and Calvin so Ridley. You have a yeah, lot so. of question marks, but I really do like the way your team is built. I like the team, but there is it's not like 100%. It's not 100% sure thing. It's not like I have, you know, Zeke as my number one, who I think is a sure thing. Barkley, Bell's a little bit of a question mark. And it's not like I have DeAndre Hopkins as my number one receiver over Odell. It could be completely, you know, even if I had Michael Thomas, I'd feel safer with Michael Thomas knowing he's just going to be good. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with you on that. But I think it's – I'm okay, I'm, this is what I'm curious. I want to look at one of the other teams here, one of the computer teams, just because I want to look at how your team looks if you draft Pat Mahomes early. But this team also did oh, it completely wow. different and did wide receivers Actually, oh, This early. is a great so, test. I mean, okay, I'm already going to hate the running so they backs. Didn't, but. They, didn't draft, they didn't draft running back until the sixth round. And yet it might not turn out terrible. Not, not terrible, but so, yeah, list them off because I, this is a very interesting so, team. Well, first you got oh, – they got Pat Mahomes as their quarterback. So then – they, early on, they draft their wide receivers. They draft the Devontae Adams and Mike Evans. Zach Ertz then in the fourth. So those positions are really, really good. Then their first running back is in the sixth, and it's on Johnson, which is, that's not, that could be pretty good. I mean, there's potential that on could all of a sudden be one of, you know, one of the really good running backs, or he just doesn't, it doesn't happen. Then Chris Carson, Chris Carson was has been really solid as well, but then again, is he for sure going to be the guy or is they going to try to give it to Rashad Penny at some point? So it's hard to say. And then you got Tevin Coleman, LaShawn McCoy. Though this team drafted the uh, the rookie, David Montgomery, which there's no way he's going to go. If he actually lands on a team where he's a starter or has potential to be a starter, he won't go in the 13th <laughs> right, round. Right, 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 right. You know, so it's – this is an interesting one. I don't know right. if I really – It's there's some risk, big risk there at running back, but I can see how it could work. And I wouldn't actually – me personally, I wouldn't draft Will Fuller in the fifth. Like they did. No, just because of injuries. I, I like him later on as a flyer, but look at that team as well. If you don't take a tight end right there, and you probably do, you know, well, not necessarily. So you might miss out, but you might be able to get one of the top three. You wouldn't get Ertz. Maybe you miss out on Kittle, but you might be able to get him still. But if you took Delvin Cook instead of Ertz right there and took the guy on the yep. way back, all of a sudden you have that number one, and then you can still get carry on. And all of a sudden, it changes everything. So that is an interesting strategy to take wide receiver early or wide receiver, wide receiver QB, the best QB. Don't get me wrong. It has to be Mahomes. Um, And then running back because that first, you know, that top 10 is uh, all very, very talented. That actually might work this this year. I mean, Pat Mahomes is going to be the interesting one. It's like, do you really – do you – you go for him that early uh, on a snake draft. Mm-hmm. I, you know, I actually don't hate it in the third. He was so dominant. If and especially this, he was at the end of the third. I'm, I'm plenty yeah, okay I am with too. that. I think. I, you know, usually I don't overvalue quarterbacks, and they can obviously move around. But with him, if you, I don't think he's going to well, fall off completely. So if you hit it correctly, and he is again that kind of weapon, you know, there's no one else that you can get at that position that is going to give you that kind of, uh, you know, edge. Yep. Well, all right. I think that's going to do it for the mock draft. And now we'll do probably do the next one after free agency is done. You know, at least after free agency is done. And then, then, then do the real ones after the draft, right? When we actually have a really good idea. But it's always interesting to see how we're feeling about players. But I still think our dra- our strategies, like, I feel like it's changing. Like, it's not just running back, running back anymore. I don't think it, I don't think that's necessarily the best way to go. Just it feels it feels like you need to get one of those receivers, but we'll see how it evolves as we get closer to, to the season. But that'll do it. Talk to you guys next week.